Hey there, Kyle here. Today we're going to take a look at my rolling adjustable height workbench. It goes up, it goes down, and it moves all around for different projects and uses that you might have around your shop. So without wasting any more time, let's take a look. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and show you some of the basics and then we'll zoom in a little bit closer so you can get a better idea of where it is. So first things I like about this bench the most is I can roll it around anywhere in the garage. I can leave it at this height and I can actually reach under and lock the wheels if I need to. And then of course I can adjust the height. So I can adjust this as an outfeed table for my table saw, an extra arm to my chop saw, or an extended bench on my overall eight foot bench on the side. We'll talk about that in another video. So let's go ahead and get down to it. Raise it up. If you were a little unstable, you can always tighten up these hand cranks. And this just keeps everything tight so that the table doesn't move up and down. Really sturdy, gives a little added stability to it. Here's the motorcycle lift. As you can see, it's a straightforward scissor lift. It's rated for about 1,100 pounds. This is a 7 8 socket. It does come with a hand crank. Otherwise, you can use a drill or a ratchet. As you can see, here's the wheels. I just picked these up on Amazon. You just push the lock down, and it prevents the wheel from rotating and rolling. To unlock the wheel, all you do is just lift the lever back up. Another great feature I added to this bench were some holes with T-nuts so I can bolt down tools like my bench grinder, drill press, crank jig, dovetail jig. The only thing I wish I would have done different was cut down the thread on these hand bolts. Well, that concludes it, so let's go ahead and put this away. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and of course subscribe to my channel. If you want to be notified of future videos, then hit the little bell. Cheers!